Was it worth it? No. Fine. But I hope you know what's doing you like that did to I was drunk. Not blind. Hey, why can't we just fly over these guys straight to the mat? You think I want to carry you all that way? You're strong! I'm not your pack looks up to you. I hope you know that. Don't need a lecture about parenting from you. Just find the thing. Looks like we gotta head through that wall. You Something wanna... I need to do first. Take your time. Now we can go. You really keep trying to... I don't even know what you're trying to do anymore, but you have no idea the kind of shit I've been through. Right. Have giant son of a powerful god with impossibly high expectations. How could I ever know what that was? <laughs> <laughs> trying to do anything. I'm just pointing out we're not that different. I got no interest in bonding over shared blood. <gasps> Another wall of ice. Hmm. Thor, could mm -hmm. you... Okay. I just want to add one more thing. If you can't be yourself, you also might not feel like you can follow your own path. That doesn't sound familiar to you at all.
you've got some similar life experience, what does it matter? Seems stupid to gripe about the things we can't change. Who says we can't? Far from Ivaldi's workshop, right? Far enough. Damn it! Ancient! Again with the griping. Calling out a problem isn't griping. It counts in. Alpha! I bet you're glad I'm helping so much this time around. You're welcome. <coughs> I will say the sword's doing work over there. And Luxie's helping, too. Just blast them apart. Poof. Problem solved. You don't have to think, don't have to feel. There, just ahead. This I don't think that's where we're supposed to go. So, it was.
Up this way. Looks like there's a path. One pathway coming up. You enjoying the freedom? Out here without Fabio looking over your shoulder. I, uh, well, yeah, I guess. It's different from what I'm used to, in a good way. Looks like we gotta get up that cliff. Guys, think me. No thinking. It's better when I know it's gonna happen. <laughs> I can check. This one's yours. Everything goes okay when you see Sif and Thud again. Well, hoping's better than thinking. It's a start. Close. Um, thanks, Thor. Wasn't about to lose that. Loki, you did it. We are on the verge of great things, all of our work together. You're welcome. I'm sorry. You are here. Why? His father murdered Heimdall. For said he has proof. Take him. No. Leave him alone. I command it. You said no more Aesir blood would be spilled. You said family comes first. You don't think that this is retribution for him being here? He's put your granddaughter in danger. He's made your son miserable. Loki didn't kill Heimdall. His father did. Your daughter is old enough to make her own mistakes. And your husband started drinking again all on his own. Dismissed! You two, a word. Can't you see what's happening? He's not protecting us. Magni, Modi, our boys. We used to tell them stories by the fire. Do you remember? We would carve those wooden horses. We would play and laugh until the sun sank and they fell asleep in our laps. They were thrown at the All-Father's problems like brittle knives to a mountain face. And for what? What if Thrut's next? You... You kill my... 
my son. Sleep in their beds. Turn my father against me. My daughter. I have no idea what's happening. You know, I finally thought of something I can teach you. Hey, stand down! Sentry better be right. Where did you go? Sentry. Ugh. You sure know how to plan an exit. Atreus. Glad you're safe, lad. Got out just in time. Pretty sure I burned my bridges in Asgard, though. Wait, why were you out here? Sindri told us where you would arrive should you find trouble. Oh, thought you might have been exploring without me. No, lad. Your dad was just concerned. Though, now that you mention it... Mimir. Brother, please. It's all so crowded and tense back home. Don't you miss the three of us out finding our own adventures? Putting off the inevitable. Exactly! It's not the worst idea. I do want to show everyone the mask, but it'll keep. Hmm. to summon me. We must talk. Speak. The tree has become rather overgrown. And? And if it grows too wildly, the branches risk getting too heavy and falling, which is not ideal considering they hold all the rounds. I am no gardener. What an absolute shock. No, I do not require any horticultural skills from you. But I would ask that you keep an eye open for the stags of the Four Seasons. They normally graze upon the tree and keep it tidy. Unfortunately, Bitter decided it would be funny to trick Arrogant into releasing them. If you happen to find the stags during your travels, I would greatly appreciate assistance in bringing them home. I would have one of my spectral squirrels do it, but they, well, keep eating the feed I give them. Consequence of it being the most delicious food in all the Nine Realms, I suppose. Speaking of... Here, take some feed. Once you've found a stag, the feed should calm them down. Then one of my spectrals will guide them back here. And, uh, don't eat the feed, please. I will not. Bitterness asked me if I was too chicken to release them. But I am, in fact, not chicken-like whatsoever. So as you can see, I had no choice. Yes, of course. What else could you have done? <sighs> While normally this would be a harmless prank, Thimblewinter prevented the stags from returning, and now they have long since scattered to parts unknown. It was worth it! Ah, <sighs> what else is there? So, this whole spectral squirrel business, you can shoot out your feelings into little ghosties. I suppose that is a slightly inelegant way of putting it. These spectral versions of myself are aspects of my personality that I often find distracting <laughs> at best. My ability not only lets me cast them away and provide some temporary peace of mind, it also allows me to see what goes on outside the tree. Why not just go look yourself? As the eternal caretaker of the tree, I may not leave its confines. All part of the deal, but worth it for the immortality and such. My spectral form still allows me to see the outside world, albeit through slightly colorful viewpoints. That's one word for it. That bitter form of yours is a nasty piece of work. I'm standing right here, you know, Nick. <sighs> I'd apologize for him, but where would it end? I think that's the long and short of it. Safe travels. I'm back, everybody. Hey, hey, you made it. I'll get to you. Do you want to set the table if you're ready to stay? Oh, see? I told you the key would get him home. Because you tapped it with a hammer. Dwarven magic makes no sense. Right? Lunda one time made me a breastplate out of dog barks. Your best. Still can't figure that one out. Are you out. okay? I'm fine. I just hope unlocking this thing was worth the cost. You have it. What did it show you? I didn't get to use it. They found out about Heimdall. I had to run. But at least Odin can't use it either. But 
If you didn't get any answers from the mask, all you've done is steal Odin's greatest treasure. Just after your father's killed his most loyal ally. None of us are safe. Even here. So we have no choice. We find Surtur, sound Galahorn, and bring Odin to justice. Now. You'd incinerate every soul in Asgard and call it self-defense? Does he ever suggest plans or just crap on everyone else's? The obvious plan is staring you in the face. We don't need Odin to use this. We can slip into Asgard and do it ourselves, right under his nose. We gain the knowledge we need to shatter this prophecy of war once and for all. Except begging your pardon, you don't have a way into Asgard. They got the big horn, don't they? Oh, so you expect them to sneak into Asgard, blowing a horn that sounds across all the realms? I expect you to bite my blue butt cheek. Please, just think about it. This mask, the easy answers that it promises. I know this. Shortcuts always have a price. Atreus, you have carried it. What do you think? I think it's a chance. At worst, we'll have something Odin wants as leverage. At best, if it really gives us all the answers, then we can make our own path. And nobody has to die. Hmm. Grand. Now all we need is a way to Asgard. I know I've been a burden to you all. I know you've questioned why you even pulled me out of that hole. I have too. But it's clear now. This is what I'm needed for. This is my purpose. One last time, I will pick up my spear and I will lead us to Asgard. Excuse me, but if you got a way to Asgard, where's that idea been this whole fucking while? That's not that a fair question, brother. You withheld Asgard. You would have gotten us all killed, and we needed to give Loki time to find his destiny. Here it is. It's all led to this. If we can get inside, I'm going after Odin. I will not stop you. We can do both. Spot on, brother. If the mask doesn't give us an out, we'll still have the drop on him. Mm. Works for me. Let's do it then, and quickly, before he sees us coming. He does hate surprises. Slow down, you damn spruce. I still want to hear the details on this uh, new way to Asgard you got. Spill it! It's an ancient path. We can't reach it from here. Where then? Let me collect my things and I'll show you. You ain't got no things. And where are you going with that mask, Rock? That belongs to the kid. He earned it. All you've done was make passable dirt soup. Rock, it's okay. No, it ain't. This ain't right. All the pieces ain't welding together true. Like, what's with him calling you Loki anyway? You know that ain't his name. Hey! I'm talking to you! You never shut up! Run! Of all the things, Odin. Let go of the boy and face me! Tell your brother to throw me the mask and you've got a deal. Stop moving. Freya, if he dies... Now, now. It wasn't part of the plan, but if he dies, we are square for Heimdall. And honestly, you got a bargain. I will kill you. Plan on that. Mm -hmm. So nice spending time with you again. Freya, please. Uh, uh, uh. Can't be in two places at once, Frigg. Hey, I don't move, you don't move. Don't do anything to work crap. I regret many things. Killing you will not be one of them. I am in control here. Throw me the mask, now.
Too bad, son. Looks like war after all. Please, you have to save him. You have to. He can't. You can't. Maybe if I go back to the lake. Stop me. I know what you've done. And I forgive you. But you gotta stop. You gotta let go. This whole time. So, uh, what do we do now? Now? Now we kill Odin. And anyone who gets in our way. Truth. Come. What? Where? does not matter. Where are you going? We are done. You can't run away from this, Kratos. Odin won't stop until we stop him. We need you here. Father, where are we going? Oh. Father, can we? I... I want to go hunting. I will follow. We are with you, Atreus. What do we hunt? Deer. Which way we headed, lad? In... the direction of deer. to speak of what happened. I think I heard something. This way. He just needs space. Here. Tracks. They're leading that way. Atreus, violence changes us. You are not weak to feel its effects. We're all feeling its effects. 
We're heading the right way. There's broken branches over there. Come on. I keep seeing it. The knife, Brock, Sentry's face. Son. There it is. See over speed. Why? And that was running. And so are we. Don't understand. When an animal is wounded, it must stop the bleeding, or it will die. We have been wounded in this. This is a distraction. It's my fault. No. Find Sindri. I have a pretty good idea where he might be. Lead. Is it okay if we take the sleds? I need to think about what I'm gonna say to him. Of course. <clears throat> Everywhere I look, I'm reminded of my mistakes. Our actions have consequences. To be reminded of them is not punishment. Feels like it. I had just... Seen through a deception that fooled us all. Stopped an attack you could not predict. There is no if, Atreus. Your father's right. There are things even gods cannot control. We can take the sled when you're ready. Here's Temple. That's where we're headed. <laughs> Mimir, is there a chance that we could bring Brock back? 
Sentry did it once. Maybe we could figure out a way to do it again. I'm afraid, but when a soul missing its full gear, its direction, like rocks, leaves, its corporeal form, well, it can't reach the lake of souls. He's not only dead, he's been denied an afterlife. Nothing to bring back. It's really gone. Atreus, if there was anything we could do, I promise you, we'd be doing it. I know. It was stupid of me to hope in the first place. I miss when the lake was still water. I feel like I want to get on a boat and just sail away from here. From everything. You cannot sail away from your mistakes. It is impossible to forget them. I have tried. Aye. They'll follow you no matter where you go, little brother. If you want to sail, do it toward somewhere. at the end of the bridge it's still work we can get up to the temple that way now is not the time for exploration brother Yes. What makes you so sure Sindri will be here? It's where he and Brock reunited. Reforging something that broke. He'll be here. Sindri? Sindri, I... I am so sorry. No. I... No, I don't want to hear it. You don't know what sorry means. We're not letting Odin get away with this. Would that be the Odin you invited into my home? Some of us were bigger fools than others, aren't we? I gave you everything. My skills, my friendship, my home, my secrets, my treasures. And you just kept taking. And now what have I got? <laughs> Not even my family. You want sorry? This is what sorry looks like. I. What can we do? We. There is no we. There's only you. No matter what the cost. So, what you can do is get the fuck out of my sight.
thought we were his family, too. We were. I know I'll feel better when we brought Odin to justice. Justice? Justice is not what we seek. It is vengeance. Every path I walk leads back to vengeance. Maybe that's all we have left. We must return to Freya. has come to that. Yes. When we were back in Svartalfarn, looking for Tyr, this isn't what I wanted. This wasn't what I meant. Not if it meant losing Brock. We know what Atreus. We know. We really took everything from Sindri. Don't take to heart what I'm said in grief, Atreus. No matter how spot on they feel. I know we can go see Freya, but I wouldn't mind staying here in Midgard for a little while. Aye. A few last adventures to take our minds off the state of, well, everything. Freya will still be at the house. Don't see why not. Odin's back door in was also his way out. Without the blasted raven apparently hiding in the broom closet, the house should be secure. And she will not turn away allies in her vengeance. Aye, it's all our vengeance now. And no more fake Tear to twist our minds around. Oh, what a mockery he made of Tear's desire for peace and mine. back. Are you with us? Mm. Good. It's time. Time for what, dare I ask? Time to unite the realms against Odin once and for all. Tyr tried to unite the realms. The real Tyr. Everyone loved him. And even he failed. Then we better not fail. Or there will be no one left to try. This is Ragnarok. And Odin's already heard every blasted plan we have. Yes, we've lost the element of surprise. More than that, we have only one way to Asgard, and it's not so. Go, Odin. It means we enter from Tyr's temple, here. Asgard's wall is here. Odin's host of Einherjar will hold the space in between. Which means... We need armies of our own. As many as will answer the call. Numbers Odin won't see coming. And that's just to reach the wall. To breach the wall, we'll need to find Sartar. Radatoskar was able to procure this. The three of us will go. I know just where to look. Mm. Splendid. Allies, then. Who do we think we can get? I'll venture to Helheim. Try to recruit the army of the dead. And I'll return to Alfheim to unite the elves. But just like that, unite the elves after centuries of war. Well, they really like me in Alfheim. And you, to Valheim? Yes, to find Sigrun 
and muster the free Valkyries. Midgard has no army. Nor Niflheim, nor Jotunheim. That leaves only Svartalfheim. I'll go to Svartalfheim. Sindri? Are you sure? I said I'll go. So be it. Good luck to us all. Off to Muspelheim to find the last fire giant. I almost envy everyone else's impossible mission. said you know where to look for Surda. Yeah. I unlocked the secrets in his shrine when I was in Muspelheim with Thor. Thor? Don't worry. He didn't see me go in. That was not my worry. Now look. When we find Surda, we'll have to convince him to combine with his wife, Sinmara. Combine? Yeah. When the two of them, uh, join, they'll create an enormous Asgard-destroying monster. Oh my. Apologies. I have some doubts regarding negotiations with Rosvelger and Helheim. My thinking is that she may be more amenable to speaking with a member of the, uh, deceased. Mimir, you're needed. Oh, death is a skill now. I suppose these two can survive a bit without me. Brother, if you wouldn't mind. Very well. Many thanks. We'll catch up with you later. Hey, I think I can see Surtur's forge in the distance. <gasps> what? Surtur's wife. Where is she? Nifelheim, I think. They saw their prophecy and decided to isolate themselves in their home realms to fight it. Understandable. Hopefully they'll understand why Ragnarok needs to happen now. Look, over there. here before, I got a pretty good feel for the layout. We need to be ready for Surtur, in case he doesn't want to help us. Ready? Prophecy says he and Sinmara join. But who knows how they're gonna feel about it now. You would try to force these primordial beings into submission? Well, I don't know. We can't win this war without them, right? We gotta be close. I can hear the force. Something ahead. Be ready. It's a phantom. Now they're 
Well, either it isn't him, or he's ignoring us. Come on. Hello. We seek a fire giant. Go away. What just happened? Hey, that wasn't... We deal with these first. You're on fire! Another one? Focus! He is the guardian of this realm. It is his right to defend it. Got a lot to answer for. As you said, we need him. I won't help you. Who are you? Who you seek. And what's left on him. Why won't you help us? 
I don't want to. Elaborate. We'll die. Right. Because you've got so much to live for. Not me. Her. So what's the point of all this? You keep separate from Sinmara just so you can sit here and wait to die? At least if you joined with her, you'd be together again. We are together. Not her heart. She's got mine. It's not much, but it's enough. But you're not even... Have you ever been in love? It's pretty good. succeed and all realms save Asgard will fall yeah he must die it's true but I won't sacrifice her any more than you would him sorry come wait those blades. May I see them? Hmm. Yeah, there's primordial fire in those. They are not of these lands. Shouldn't matter. He says you two have to combine. Sure, this will work. What have I got to live for? Not here. Follow me. where Niflheim and Muspelheim meet. Where the first realms came into existence. You won't be able to get through this, huh? Whoa. Uh, starter? Still, Still me. me. Better than walking. What awaits us at this spark of the world? Magic, primordial stuff. With that and your blades and my heart, we'll be good. I'll get it. big, smash stuff. You'll like it. But what'll happen when you change? Don't know. Won't be me anymore. But how will you, or um, future new you, no one to attack Asgard. You got the horn. Right? Yeah. Then we're good. So, here it is. The spark of the world. Whoa, this is beautiful. I'll meet you across. This feels too easy. Odin knows we have Gal Owen. He knows you have the mask. After killing Brock, he knows we would seek Surtur to start this war. But what other choice do we have? None. He knows that too. The 
this is it. What about Sinmara? Should we at least tell her? No. It had hurt her too much. More than not knowing what happened to you? Sometimes loving someone is about choosing the lesser pain. That doesn't make any sense. I promise you'll stay away from her. You have our word. Sorter, is stabbing you with the blades gonna be enough to create this new you? Sinmar's heart is cold. Your dad's now got my fire in those glades. If enough of me and the sparks fire go into enough of her, it should work. Okay. Come here. This'll hurt. this is going to take.
Father, over here! Attack Asgard? I await the call. Uh, great! Hear that? All we have to do is call him with Gallarhorn when we're ready. Let's head back to Moose Bond. We can take the Mystic Gateway back from there. Believe it. We've got Ragnarok on our side. Sorter's plan just worked. I mean, if the Valkyries were a small setback, but I bet we've got Odin worried now. He knows we're coming for him. <laughs> Think about it. We're gonna show up to Asgard, and Ragnarok's gonna come in and wreck everything. Odin won't stand a chance. We're gonna win. Crow's right. Groa failed to predict what we would sacrifice in return. Maybe she could only see the big stuff. This is gonna work, right? It must. <gasps> Ragnarok's strength grows. Hey, check out that cliff. The earthquake must have shook this place up enough to make a ledge. More of Odin's forces. There will be more. We gotta get out of here. So... You fought in a lot of wars, right? You've never had anything like Ragnarok on your side? I have. And the creature does not guarantee our victory. Right. place is gonna fall apart if those keep happening. Feels different. I had hoped my days of ceaseless battles were over. I had hoped to never see my son go to war. We have to destroy its shield! He's got to don't give up! Ragnarok is here! They know what that means for Asgard. We need to leave before anything else shows up. The gate is just through this crack in the rocks. So you're ready. doing the right thing. Ragnarok has to happen. The price we and others paid for this war is high. It will only get higher. It'll be worth it. Father, 
How did it go? And yes, my usefulness to a certain Vanium Numpty did run out. Ragnarok awaits our call. As do the armies of hell. Thanks mostly to me. It seems war is upon us at last. Where to now, brother? We've some time before we're expected at the temple. This could be our last chance, father. Is there anything you want to finish up? Mumir, what else do you know of the mask? Only that it was the great passion of Odin's life. He journeyed across Agia's burning ocean into the heart of the silent matron herself to find it. Lost every man in his crew, but to hear him tell it, it was worth all that blood and more. a feeling you might pop in here. You know everybody's meeting in Midgard, right? Hey, y'all, uh, I just wanted you to know if you need anything at all, I'll be around. Either here or at Rock and Victory's old shop. We go. This is it then, the beginning of the end. The end for Odin. And after that, a new beginning for the rest of us. Atreus. I know. I'm just looking forward to seeing all the realms finally standing up to him. Elves and dwarves and hell itself. You are so certain they will unite. They have to. After everything they've been through. They have to. Don't they? Anything in Midgard you want to do? You know, while we still can. Freya and the others are still making preparations for the attack, so there's time. 